It is October 25th. I know we're a little bit early, just a little bit, maybe just a minute or so. But it's that time at 6 p.m. I'm your host, the Drug Dealers to Businessmen podcast and the weekly tap in. This is the weekly tap in and I'm tapping in. What's good? What's good? What's good? Hope all is well. You guys already know what to do. You know what to do. Go ahead and get your share on. We'll put it in the comments. Where are you tapping in from? So let me go ahead and do my what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's see. We know the business. Oh, yeah, that's me in the background. My apologies. But let me go ahead and do this. So I can let my network that's know. In the background. My apologies. But let me go ahead and do this. All right. So it's that simple, my homie. Let me clear out of that. All right. Go ahead and put your comments in there, man. We're going to get busy today, man. We're going, we going high level again. I know, I know, I know. But that's the only way we think, man. We got to go above the clouds and we plan to do so. What's up, Samuel? I can't call it, baby. What's good? Appreciate it, man. My usual's tapping in, man. I appreciate you guys, man. I'm loyal to y'all too, man. I would try to, I try to figure it out all week. Like, you know, what, what, how can my experiences benefit the homies? You know, and that's, that's the way I rock. How can my experiences benefit my homeboy? Um, because I think that that's what true friends should do is, is have that, that connection to where it's like, okay, whatever I'm experiencing, it should be able to benefit my friends, period, homie. You know, and that's, that's that whole talented 10th concept, W.E.B. Du Bois, man. Great week, man. God, I've been talking to your partner, been tapping in with me. Hopefully he's been tapping in with you too because connections are going on. Dreams are being delivered. That's what I named my LLC too, man. Dreams delivered, man. You guys should you guys should name your, your LLC, your parent company, the one that's going to f- oversee all your brands. Something high level and sophisticated so when, that there's a story behind it when they do finally get to you and tell the world your story because it's coming. Lo and behold, it's coming. Just know that. Everybody has their success story. Everybody has a success story. And God didn't leave the miracle business to go make cheesesteaks. He's still in the miracle business. So I constantly remind you guys that every time we connect, that God is still in the miracle business. And with our effort, that's what we're talking about today. What's up, Tanisha? We're talking about today is how to create that world that we want period how do we create that world that we want right because we all we all have seen it done and once you once you've done it before once you see that even on the smallest scale that you can create right it, it does something magical for you so we're gonna we're gonna get to that we're gonna get to that and we're gonna talk about the alchemist right one of the books that will smith recommended early i've been following will smith for a long time and one of the early interviews that i saw him do was with tavis smiley and he talked about the alchemist and he talked about how to create things, you know, how we can create and build this life for ourselves that we've always wanted. So I had to revisit the alchemist. I've been listening to it all day today, all day, all day. My son even got off on it. I took him to karate class tonight. He, we were listening to it in the car. It's like, Dad, I like that book. I know. <laughs> I know. I know what it's going to do for you because I didn't get exposed to this kind of stuff this early in the game. But if you can develop that thought process that, you know, with God, God giving us these seeds of greatness, God giving us these these ideas to create things like they're within us already, like we already possess the thing. And that's the thing. When we go out and try to seek all this approval, um, we go into these industries that that um, that we're supposed to be in. Right. The ones that are supposed to be successful, but we're miserable and unhappy. You know, what about that? You know, how do we what, what are we looking for? What are we really looking for when we talk about happiness? Let's 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 get down to that. What are we really looking for when we talk about happiness? Right. Everybody, man, I need the money. Do you or do you need the things that money provides? Right. That's that's the dilemma right there that we all face and we all are dealing with. Do we need money or what it provides? If we have a bunch of cash, that's that's nothing that's going to get you robbed. 
right? So it's not the cash, is it? Nah, it's what it can provide. Is it the house or is it what make what what people think about you when they see the house? Wow, such and such got the mansion. Is it the mansion or is it more of a pain in the ass to clean 20 rooms? Right? Uh, he like, man, I got 20 rooms, man. Half of them I haven't been in. But I tell you what, when I put it on Instagram, I get a thousand likes or whatever. So you got to realize what's what's happiness. And a lot of times, you know, one of my homeboys always said, man, he's like, man, I admire you being content. And I'm like, I've strived for things. And the more I've strived for them, the more they run away from me. The more desperate I am for something, the more it evades me. Right. It's just like the female, the female, you know, the male. You don't want somebody that's desperate. Kind of, and I used to be like that. I used to be a cornball like that. I got to call her, call her, call her. And I realized that once I start ignoring that ass and walking away and saying, you know what, you're not you're not going to consume me. Then it turned around and said, oh, why aren't, why aren't you paying attention to me? And your dreams will do the same thing. Sometimes you got to walk away from it to let it know what time it is. Let me walk away from your ass since you want to play hard to get. Right. Let me go ahead and turn my let me turn around on you. But you still ultimately want it. But I'm not going to get to the point to where I sacrifice everything in order to achieve this. I leave what I what I, you know, my my normal situation. I start abandoning my family like I want to do a Ph.D. And everybody keeps talking about you've got to move here and here. And I'm like, man, they've also told me that on my path to success. Now, you got to do this. You can't do multiple business. It looks like you're uh, focused on this. You need to focus on one thing. Do that one thing well. You're like, man, that's what work for you, right? Everybody has their own recipe. Everybody. Mine, ain't, mine may have a little bit more salt or a little bit more bouillon. and Yours may have a little bit more oregano. Everybody has their own flavor. So you can't tell me how mine is supposed to taste. Yours may not taste the same, and you may not like the taste of mine i.e. my dream and my goal. But nonetheless, it's still my dream and my goal, and I love it. So that's the thing. We got to be comfortable enough in our skin to say, you know what? I don't care what everybody else is thinking, and I'm not measuring my success based upon their opinions, period. Right? And I'm not going to measure my success based upon some other person's version of it. Gold chains, rims, all that. That may be your version of success. Mine is, can I finish this damn article? <laughs> Right. Can I get published in an academic journal? So I've already had Dayton's. You dig? I've already done that. That's not interesting to me anymore. The bigger ones, that's just me now. So I have different aspirations. And you very well may too. Those are the things that make you happy is the continuous journey of achieving. And you got to kind of set yourself up for that. How do you design your life? We're all life designers. We're all life designers. What kind of life have we designed? Well, what other blueprints have we looked at? Have we looked at other architecture? Or are we just basing it on the house next door or the house that we currently see, right? You want to get a newer version of what I currently see, right? Well, have you been over here yet? Did you know they make houses like this? Did you know that you can get X, Y, Z? You didn't know that? And then you start to build these things in your mind that the, th the most powerful thing about us as human beings is our ability to create based on vision. It is extraordinarily powerful for you to see things. That's why I tell people all the time. I'm like, listen, man, if you want to live in a certain neighborhood, go drive it. Go drive it. Go to the grocery store. Go figure out what the DMV is. Act like you already have it. Right. You have to fake it until you make it. If you want to be brave at something, you got to fake it, period. You're going to have to until you believe it or the universe is convinced that you're that person for that. Everybody's a novice, homie. What's going on from the nap, man? All right now. Hey, the hustle continues. My brother, appreciate that for tapping in, man. Salute to your girl for the hustle. But that's us. You know what I'm saying? We We can... <laughs> Man, powerful, powerful, powerful. When we start to write it down and see things. Man, I had an El Camino a long time ago. And I before I even got my hands on it, I saw it. I saw the color. I saw the front end. I saw the rims. I saw the rear end. I saw the interior. I saw it before it even existed. And the way I did that is because I set my mind on what I wanted. 
I put my vision on directly on what I wanted. I want, I saw his, okay, that one's clean, but I don't like his front end. I like that front end, but I need a better paint. And I started putting it together visually and I started seeing the rims. And the next thing you know, I had the rims in my room. I started paying on them, <laughs> got them out. Then I went and got the Elko, got it from the homie for a half a zip of work. Then I got the um, registration, got the buckets of paint. I slowly but surely pieced that damn thing together and described it the entire time. And I started real. I didn't even realize it then that I had we're magicians that we that we can we can create things. Right. We can create things out of nothing. Period. Out of strictly just thinking of it. There's a lot of power in that. And if you don't utilize you don't utilize it in the right way, you have the wrong people giving you input. You're going to pollute that. Right. You're going to come out with a lot of different. Hey, what's going on? What's up, Anthony? All right, John. All right, man. Tap it in for South Central, man. Little Rock, I appreciate y'all. But yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, anything. The, the the more powerful thing, the more powerful thing is when you start to start to understand that power that you have, and you start what up, what up, Steph? You start to understand that power that you have, right? And the ability to create things out of thin air. Then you start to realize, because you don't realize it. Then you're thinking like, man, shit, I can, I, I, I guess I just did it. And then you do it again. And then you're saying, well, you know what? Like Jay-Z said, there's nothing wrong with my, my, my aim is to target. What am I aiming for? Because I have this unique ability to do this, to create things out of nothing. Unique ability. But how am I, what am I using it for? Am I using it to, 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 to create conversation? Am I using it to to create opportunity for other people? Because once you've gotten what you need out of life, right, and you're satisfied and you're content, you start to figure out what you can do for the world at that point, right? And the sooner you can get to that reciprocity or giving, right, giving back, the sooner you can start doing that, the more blessings are going to come to you. I realized a long time ago when we were selling rocks, man, we were ruining families. So I realized, man, as soon as I got out the game, I went back in juvenile hall and started trying to correct my mistake. Because I realize a lot of these kids are the way they are because niggas like us was selling rocks to their parents and they weren't there for them. So as me being responsible, let me go ahead and try to rectify this situation. Let me go into juvenile halls and tell them about how not to make the same mistakes that I made. And I spent a lot of time and I was looking at some of the stuff that I did. I was 2010, 12, 8, all throughout that time. I was Challenger, uh, um, uh, LP. Um, uh, uh, central, you name it. But that was the way I needed to get back because I knew I spent a lot of time in that game. And I knew that all we get, we got rims and have fun and all that stuff, but how many lives did we ruin? So there's that balancing act of that karma, right? We have to pay our karmic debt at some point in time. And if we don't pay our karmic debt, it'll come, it's coming. <laughs> it's one of them bills like the IRS bills. It, they, it's, it's coming for sure. So the faster you can try to right that wrong and try to help people, right? Ha try to get that bone right or that muscle right in you that wants to help people. And I used to think, you know, I'm helping a homie learn how to get extras. That's not helping him. You know what I'm saying? That's helping him come closer to the prison, which in a lot of times, this is the thing too. You know, we can't be in a sense to where we try to avoid all negative things, right? I don't, I don't live in that space because now what I'm learning is a lot of these perceived or per perceptual negatives are actually positives are actually trying to build something in my life. So I'm just cruising down my journey. I'm cool with it, whichever direction it kind of leans me, but I'm on purpose and I'm intentional, right? I set my mind on something, right? And I'll keep looking at it constantly. Whenever I pass by there, I keep seeing, I go to the airport. Every time we go to the airport, I see that our chicken place in there. When I ride by there, I'm like, okay, so how do we make that happen, God? How, do, how did the universe start to conspire? And the universe starts to work on it. They'll start making stuff. You don't know how and when. That's not up to us to figure out. You dig? But at the same time, we have to prepare ourselves and constantly be marching in that direction. Denzel Washington headed west in the book of Eli. Right? I hate to use Hollywood, but a lot of times Hollywood tells true stories. Head west. You can't see. You don't know, but you don't know which way you're going. You can't see. All you can do is smell and sense. Right? And I was just listening to something that, that talked about the heart and how the heart can sense things, right? Love, danger, 
you think it's your head, but it's your heart. Your heart actually has electronic signals that can that can that radiate to other ones. So when you get a connection, you're like, man, I just feel this cat's energy or I feel this person's energy, whether it's bad or good. That's some real shit. It's real. So that's the thing. You're like, we have superpowers. We're like superhumans. Real talk. And I'm not just just making this stuff up. This is real. We're superhumans. We have computers. We have things that lightning fast. We're turning into something different. And us now, this is the time to take full advantage of it. Anybody who has the idea of business, this is the time now. You got Canva. You can create your logo. Easy to set up your website. Start delivering product. LA is wide open for business. Real easy to do business out here. So it's up to us to ride, take that ride, take that chance. The universe ain't, ain't ain't messing with you if you ain't in the dice game betting on yourself. It's not. It's not gonna. It's not gonna put up a fade for you. You got to go out there and create something. I don't care if it's rinky dink, raggedy, or not what it's supposed to be in its final condition. But you have to build something. You have to start. There's nothing worse. And I mean, people, I'm not saying quit your job or anything like that. But what I'm saying is learn from what you need to learn. It's a temporary stop. Don't make it a permanent one. You make it a permanent one, you'll miss out on opportunities. I heard somebody talking about opportunity costs. That's a real thing. And basically what opportunity costs for those who don't know, and I'm pretty sure that 99% of my audience knows this, but for that 1% that doesn't know, opportunity costs are when you are doing something, you can't be doing something else, right? So there's a lot of times there's there's positives to that as well. If you're in the library learning about taxes and, and branding, you can't be at the party getting busted on. <laughs> it's an impo- You can't be. So that opportunity cost is a good thing, right? But if you at if you at the club drinking, whatever the case, spending money, that's an opportunity cost because you could have put that five hundred dollars or whatever you spent on an LLC that can actually get your 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 kids change their whole generational wealth. I'm just saying we got to pick our opportunities right. Right. And it's one of those things almost like squid games. You need to pick the right one. You don't. You fall in through the glass. Those who haven't watched squid games. <laughs> but I'm being real. You know, life gives me my content. All I got to do is just pay attention. And God talks through everything. That's the key right there. Once you recognize that and you get in tune with God. Right. You start to dance to that beat that you have in your head, your internal Walkman. And I know I'm dating myself. But that internal walk, man, when you start to listen to what you need to listen to, you can adjust your life. That's why I'm going to see Will Smith. He's one of the ones that talks about that, how to control your life. He went from being a rapper to a well-respected, just human, to bigger than life. Like, Will Smith is, this is the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, if we let that story be told. But he said, no, um, you think I'm the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. You think I'm Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. You think I'm this and this and that. And he created whatever he wants. This fool got putting people on, stars in whatever movies he wants, still blockbuster. We're going to see him buying tickets to go see this dude on his memoir. Just a fascinating individual that we thought was a rapper. And a lot of people like you and us, we think we're just this. We're just this, man, please. The greatest people on earth at some point in time, had to go beyond the belief that they were just that. We're not just anything, man. We're miracles in the process, right? That are supposed to be creating miracles. We're not, out of the millions of sales, sperm and all that stuff, how do we get here? The one, right? Then we can call ourselves the chosen one as well. LeBron ain't the only one. Because we know we were selected for a purpose or we would not still be here. That's the beauty in it. We know we haven't really achieved what we're supposed to achieve. How do we do it? How do we do it? It's a constant. It's the exercise, right? It's picking up books like Atomic Habits and learning these things of how to develop really good habits, right? How do we get up? How do we, what do we listen to? I've changed my mindset. Now, when I go to the gym, I'm either listening to Tavis Smiley doing an interview on some really interesting people or I'm listening to some type of book, right? When I'm playing, I shoot basketball now. And I'm trying to get in basketball shape again. When I put my little iPod, I listen to certain things. 
right? That are going to enhance and build, right? Because your subconscious mind is such a powerful thing. It's the one that's going to tell you yes or no. When you're in your dream, you're like, where did this, was this, this, this urge come from, right? Where did this, I know I can do it, right? Like of, of all our business, all of them are doing really well. You know, we, we selling hair, we're selling chicken, we're, and we're doing tours. And these are all blessings, right? These are all ideas out of nothing. I'm telling you, out of nothing, there was no, my brother didn't suggest this to me. He wasn't a chicken man. My dad didn't have a hair hookup. Uh, my uncle didn't have buses. None of this stuff. It just came out of thin air and God willing, it's happening today. Right? We got logos. You can see right here, logos and sponsors. Could throw one more on, on there for the chicken. Right. And you got to believe so much in it that you wear your brand every day. Constantly. I believe in it. 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 And guess what? Once you start doing it and you tell the world, they are like, I believe you too. After so many years, I believe you too. And that's when it starts. That's when you see people take that. You like, man, they've been cruising at this. And next thing you know, they go get a house somewhere way out. You're like, well, how did they? Oh, they got a franchise. Oh, they. Oh, it finally picked up. Nah, <laughs> it's been part, it's been going the whole time. They just started earlier than you. No need to be jealous. No need to be uh, salty. No need to be like, damn, that can't be me. It can be you too. All of it in the above. And God's just waiting on you to go out there and play dare. He dares you to get out there and try your shit. I dare you to. And remember when dare is like, oh, should, should, should I do I, oh man, damn, they dared me to do it. Yeah, now what? Right? Now what? Now what are you going to do? You going to sit there and hold that dream and not tell anybody? Try to keep it tucked so nobody knows that God dared you to go try something amazing so that you could test who you really are and who you really been destined to become? Because that's all it is. That's all it is. My mom, my mom, shout out to my mom, man. I want to give her props. She is pursuing deep sea diving now. Underwater deep sea diving. So she's been going to do laps literally every day because she's got to do 15 straight laps. That means back and forth in an Olympic sized pool in order to get out there. To So she's been working constantly, just tearing that dream down slowly but surely, buying the equipment, investing in this, talking about it, posting it, getting immersed in the dream. Because when you emerge yourself in a dream, you become it. It's inevitable. It's, it's impossible. It's like being in the kitchen with somebody cooking chicken and grease. You become the, <laughs> unfortunately, you become the chicken, right? But it's such a, it's such a beautiful thing watching her pursue her dreams. It is fascinating. And it, I, I, and I get inspired. Mom, you out there, I'm about to go swim this and this and that. And I'm like, man. And I remember that, that feeling when I started surfing, same feeling. Right. The not knowing how am I going to do this? It's new to me. I don't have any reference points. Right. And that's where God comes in. Like, man, you don't need any reference points. This is this is you know who this is. My wife, it doesn't matter, man. Every time I go live, she calls like, OK, so and I'm like, really? But anyway. Respect. But I'm back to back to my uh, my mom. That's that's she's in her 60s. Pursuing something to that level, that is that is scary and fascinating at the same time. And that's what life is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be just, well, I'm not doing anything. I'm not pushing it. I push it a little bit. Mold it. Make it do what it do. Flip it up and down. Try this. Try that. You can't just sit there and wait. When we talk about controlling our lives, are we just waiting on fate? Are we just waiting on something to happen? Something to land? In our laps? Is that what we're waiting on? No. God got it. But you got to go run your route in order to catch the ball. It ain't just, hey, man, let me just, you can just take it. Ah, you got to run, man. You got to run and do some other stuff, and then we'll get it to you. But in this process, you're going to learn. You're going to learn a lot about people. You're going to learn a lot about relationships. You're going to learn a lot about commitment. You're going to learn a lot about time. You're going to learn a lot about your subconscious because you're going to see how that affects you, who you talk to. You got to make sure you're talking to the right people because people will talk you out of your dreams subconsciously. 
just based on their fears or what they don't know. You be like, man, you don't know shit. So why don't you just be quiet? But they're always talking about what they don't know. Man, I heard, man, such and such, man, I, man, just be quiet. You're not spitting the facts. And even if you are spitting facts, man, records are broken every day. And those are facts. So we can still break records, homie. We can still try new things, right? People weren't in flight. People weren't in airplanes until the Wright brothers got it popping. So things can't, just because they don't exist doesn't mean you weren't designed to build them. Just because they do exist doesn't mean that you're not designed to build it better. Right? Hair companies have been here. Hair companies, we got better. Yeah, okay. Well, we're still in business. We're still getting calls every day. We're still selling hair. And we're going on 10 years. So you can take that to whatever everybody tried to predict about the hair business. It doesn't freaking matter. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't. That does not matter. You got to have a belief that whatever God gave me in terms of my, my, my flicker of life inside of me, whatever little idea that was, it's unique as an MF, period, because he gave it to me. He didn't give it to both of us like somebody tapped, hey, man, God give you that. Did he, oh, he gave you that too? Nah, ain't none of that. You know what I'm saying? He gave me my unique one. Now, I just up to me to find the right oxygen to get it going. And that's where your mental comes in. That's where your surroundings come in. That's where who you spend your time with. Right. There's people that are heavy lifting, man, that you got to constantly try to make think a certain way. That's heavy. Right. Can you handle that? Or do you need to be around it? And if you can't be around it, what type of books are you taking on? What type of books are you purchasing? I buy books all the time. I'm constantly buying books because I realize the higher I get on this, this, this or towards my goal, I know the enemy's going to be on my neck. I'm going to have less and less people to confide in because this journey is getting more and more unique. What's up, Steven? Appreciate that, homie. Appreciate that as always. Salute. But yeah, the more, the more I, I know I'm going to get challenged. I know they coming. Enemies don't throw the dart so heavy when it, the closer I get. So it's at that time, I got to turn it up. I got to get a lot of stuff around me. That's why I'm constantly buying books and listening to books. And I got earbuds and I got stuff in my car and I got it everywhere. Goes downstairs. It's like protection. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like garlic on vampires. You got to have that stuff everywhere because they coming. Especially the closer you get. And it's going to be subtle, right? You're like, man, what the hell? How did this day spin out of control? Because the enemy's trying to get you to spin out of control because you were supposed to make a decision by five o'clock. That will change your life. But he is destined not to let you get to five o'clock to make that decision. He will not, man. You're just going to be caught. Your car battery. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. Your battery's going to die. Yes, indeed. Everything's going to be challenging. You're like, why is this? And then the next day you'll get a blessing, especially if you don't fold. Especially if you don't fold a bite. Because what, what happens is the enemy wants you to start working for him. So he gets you all riled up and you be ready to flash. You got a whistle. You got him out. You ready to go nuts on somebody. And that's all because he's trying to prevent you to get to 5 o'clock, right? Almost like that training day, man. We ain't letting Denzel get there. For real. We ain't going to let him get to the house, right? Dude was just destined. And he went to the Jays. Man, I'm not letting you get to this money to them Russians at all. And that's the extreme that the enemy goes through. To not let you get to whatever little move that's going to get you closer to your dreams. It can be the smallest move. Damn, I just need to go in here and get some breath mints. Damn, I just need to go in here and get some Vizine. You feel what I'm saying? Whatever it is, he get, he like, Psh. oh, you thought that was going to be easy? Psh, psh. He'll throw a little cut. He'll do a little cut on you. How you leaking? You're like, man, what the hell is And it's just the subtle stuff. Right? But the the more you're in tune with, with your journey and how 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 it's built on good and evil and faith, right? The more you understand those foundational principles, man, it makes life a whole lot easier. I promise you that. I promise you that. Hold on one second. My battery was, my computer was dying. So let me just go ahead and plug this joint in. And that's the thing, homies. You know what I'm saying? Homies, homegirls. 
we got to understand what we battling against, man. We're proving God right, right? And who wants to believe that? Damn sure the enemy doesn't, right? And the more we understand how much we can control our lives, right? Through our words, through our actions, through our beliefs, right? More importantly, through our beliefs. Like, what do we believe? What do you really believe? Do you really believe you can be successful? Do you really believe you can get that? You can get anything. You can get anything you want. I mean, that's the crazy part about life. The, the problem is most of us have no idea what to ask for. No idea. You got to be exact. I'm talking down to the address. Address. I just want to. No, 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 no. The universe isn't in, in, in de delivering generic dreams and ideas. You need to be specific. What kind of car you want? Where do you want to go to school? What do you want to major in? What kind of business do you want it on? What did you want it to look like inside? Right? Because I still, I'm still trying to toy the concept. That's why God ain't gave me the full thing. Because I'm like, okay, so what do we want the inside of the chicken spot to look like? I like this. I like, uh, I like Mr. Fry's man design. I said, but I like the open space of certain things. You know what I'm saying? So do we want an open space? You know what I mean? For real. And that, and he, and he hasn't, he hasn't given that to me fully. So. <laughs> For real. So it's it's at a point where now I'm like, OK, you need to start looking at when you go in the restaurant, start looking at design because you need to get an idea on what you want, because I'm giving it to you, homie, or else I wouldn't start. We wouldn't even got this party started had had this not going to happen. This is legacy I can build for my mother, period. You know what I'm saying? What an honor and a great gift. I know it's some D boy hood stuff or whatever. This is what we do. We build soul food restaurants and our mama's next, period. And that's what we're doing right now on some, on some E-40 type stuff, right? But he's getting into the food business. We understand this game. And I'm following suit. I'm, I'm looking about where the opportunity is. We're in L.A. We're going to have the Olympics. We've got Clippers, Lakers, Dodgers, associations. We're black on. we got a lot of advantages here. So that's what we're pursuing right now. You know what I'm saying? Are we all the way ready? Nope. Nope. Are we content with not being ready? Yep. And the reason being is because we understand that we're not mentally there yet. We're not mentally understanding how that game works. But oh, lo and behold, I just read a story about Roscoe's today. Yeah, they just opened the flagship store. Pico's closing down. If it ain't closed already. <laughs> I ain't been to Pico lately. But I'm just saying, you know, that's another aspiration. Restaurant. So these are things, and these this is something that's been inside. I'm about, like, I love cooking. I've always, like, in the back of my mind, I've told my mom, I was like, man, I want to be a chef. Long time ago. You know what I'm saying? And just share this kind of stuff because I can do it. Why not? I love cooking. I love traveling. I love tasting different cuisines. love being able to control my portions without onions. <laughs> so, yeah. You, too, can be the alchemist. You can create. You, too, can be... There's another book called The Dream Giver that I suggest on here. That you, you can do that, too. And it's waiting on you. That's the crazy part about it. It's waiting on you. The universe is daring you to make that move. Make that move. I know it's scary, and I know it doesn't make sense. And it's like, man, I got this going and this and this and that. And I don't want to be foolish. And I'm not telling you to be foolish. I'm not suggesting that at all. What I am saying is push it. Dare the universe as well. Okay, well, if I go, then you go. You give me the tools I need to succeed. You give me that opportunity. You give me that storefront. I'll make my moves. I'll commit to it. I'll learn what I need to learn. I'll do all that. But give me all that. Give me what I need. Let's see, the universe picks up on vibrations, so you definitely got to make some noise. Yeah, stay solid. Even if it yourself, yep, piece it together. Start where you at with what you got. Right where you are. Say that twice, CJ. Yes, indeed. You have to start with what you have right where you are. Podcast. I'm starting it. You see this chair? We, but we get, we got better. Mike got better. Graphic got better. And we just constantly, constantly working to get better. And this to get better, it, it's to improve even more. But if it doesn't, I'm cool with it. I'm still delivering the, 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 what I need to. Still have an audience, still here, still tapping in. And it all started with a vision, man. Let me try something, homie. Let me try something. Right? And that's the key. You got to try, dog. I tell my son that all the time. Effort, homie. 
Just put, just put, hey man, put your back into it. I don't care what you're doing. Just try hard. Universe loves people that try hard. Period. You know what I'm saying? And I see people, you know, I'm like, man, how they make, man, they just consistently grinding. When people talk about grinding, I'm like, man, I don't even talk about grinding. That's all I do. It's, it's, it, we, we ain't no point in talking about it. We just, this is work. I went from putting on one shirt. We went from, was a Saturday. I was doing a tour, came home, took off my med tour shirt, took a shower, put on my chicken shirt, did a catering job in the next like hour or so. And then my mom was doing hair and stuff and could have got in the car and started dropping bundles off. This is the same thing we was doing in 92. <laughs> it don't ain't no different. It's just a different product. My work ethic has always been the same. I've been up all night for years. Seriously. You know what I'm saying? Up all night. <laughs> right? And I still ain't. Now I rest or whatever the case may be. But my hustle, the, the, the intensity is still the same. What's D doing? Man in traffic doing something. Period. And I realized that's why I created this. Right? And somebody asked me the other day. I was doing an interview. But somebody asked, well, why did you create it? I said, because it, th this is what I've been looking for that didn't exist. I said, whenever I would hear a success story or, of another race or something like that, I couldn't relate to it. I'm a D-boy. I came from the streets, and this is what we was doing. And then we made it successful, you know, based on the skills that we picked up in the streets. And I didn't find anybody similar. Jay-Z, but I'm waiting to get him on the podcast. That's it. I'm speaking that to I've been speaking that to existence for the last X amount of years. I'm going to get hove on here. Watch when I do. Period. Because somebody know him. Somebody going, it's going to get to him somehow. And I ain't saying that. And if I don't, whatever. But that's that's what I'm going after. <laughs> Period. Because he's got a great story. He'll tell you how to flip them skills. Because we got it. Now, and we don't want to use the term got it out the mud because that's being dragged. We just started. Period. With what we had. Round the block, 50 up, double up. You know what I'm saying? And this is what we turned it into. Now we can share this game with other people, which is what I'm doing right now. But I'm telling you guys, as you start to pursue this path of excellence and showing the world your true gifts, the enemy is going to be on your neck. I cannot stress that enough. So be prepared for that. You got to be strong mentally. You have to be strong mentally because you will be tested. So you're going to need to put these parameters, these tools, everything in place now in order to prevent him from penetrating because he's coming. He's going to use people. He's going to use your family. He's going to use your girl. He's going to use your dude. He's going to use your cousin. He's going to use your kid. Use whatever he can temporarily, though. So don't do anything permanent to somebody who appears to be under the influence of somebody greater. And I know it sounds mythological and it sounds fake in Hollywood and all that stuff, but I'm speaking nothing but facts. I'm trying to tell you. And it's scary when you see it yourself. You're like, oh, this fool is real. Yes, he's real. How does he look? Like everybody. <laughs> like everybody. So it's going to be hard to spot him. You just got to be able, you'll pick up on the vibe though. Right? You'll pick up on the vibe. Trust me, man. My gut was telling me. I didn't, man, I read, I knew it. God right there too. God right there too. That's when you get that intuition. That's when you get that gut to move. Let me let me skate away from these cats. Man, damn. Somebody just came through there. Man. <laughs> and a lot of them other guys probably had the same feeling and said, F it. Because we do that a lot, right? When God's talking to us, when he's nudging us positive or negative, like, I mean, to get out of a situation or to get in a situation, we oftentimes question it. Right. We don't believe it, man. Man, where do you think this is coming from? It ain't coming from the goofy ass homie. Right. It ain't coming from this cat. It's coming from inside of you. Right. This is an internal conversation that's taking place. And what are you going to do about it? You're going to move on it. It's like getting some stock advice. You're going to move. Tesla just went up to a G ball. I wish I had more. I bought one share when it was four hundred dollars. It's a thousand now. I wish I would have bought a hundred. <laughs> I would have been up, I think like so, like sixty bands or something like that. I think not like maybe like ten. But when you get that insight to make that move, 
you may not get the fruits right away, right? So you may think it's not the move that you were supposed to make. I'm not getting my my instant because we come from an instant gratification era where everything has to be immediate, right? And when we after this bamboo, it's taking too long, right? <laughs> right? We want we want succulents, <laughs> but those are limited. They only grow so long, right? That's why you're always they're always in bamboos. They only crack because they grow so hard and they're indestructible. So a lot of times we're looking for that immediate gratification when God gives us what we're supposed to get. Right. We ah, need ah, man. Why isn't it? Man, let it do what it do. Homie, let it let let it crock pot. Right. Let it let it let it get a simmer on, man. Let let it marinate. You know what I'm saying? You go over there, go clean house, maintain house. The dream is cool. Well, as long as you come back and check on it, stir it every now and then, it should be fine. And that's what you have to do with your dream. Right. I had to go update Google ads and all that stuff and got us back straight. Because we were having some issues. We got hacked on the hair company and they had us going on Viagra and da 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 da. Oh yeah, crypto. Yeah, I got some crypto too. I got I got a few few um Ethereum and I got a, some Bitcoin. But that's what we need to do. We need to start put ourselves in different environments so that we can learn to become better individuals. Man, God's got a plan for all of us, or we wouldn't be conveying here right now. You dig? This ain't by accident. This is universally driven. The more audience that I get, the more I go and try to deliver more. And I deliver it to one person. It does not matter. I don't need a mega church because one of them, we're not in church, man. We in a discussion. We in the weekly tap in. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you guys hit the follow on this page so that you get the notifications every time we go live. If we do anything immediate, I'm trying to drop books on you guys. So this week's book is The Alchemist. Um, let me see if I can share that. Yep, I got it on audio. Man, you got to invest in your stuff, mommy. Trying to tell you, I buy a lot of books. That's my flaws is my books. I'm like, man, can't nobody fade me on no books, homie. You can't touch me on no books, homie. Wish you would. So you can see in the last, well, those are my other ones. You can see my my book game is is getting crazy. Let me go ahead and share this. So the Alchemist, a fable about following your dreams. It's a really good book. Um, it's a fable. The guy's walking through the desert, but it talks about just all the things that we encounter when we're pursuing our dreams. Being ordinary, following people, thinking thinking people are more than they are when we paying them we're constantly paying them to help us do something that we should have already done oh i think my camera let's see no uh, there we go so you can see that man it's a really good book um let me show you guys some other ones that i got i told you guys a 40 million dollar slave talks about the black athlete from prison to phd i'm trying to get him on my on my book too. There's a weed guy. He got cracked for some weed, went to the pen and he ended up becoming a PhD. And I think like a, almost like a medical doctor as well, a, a botanist or not a botanist, but something like that. Um, the seven spiritual laws of success. I just copped this. This is a classic. Um, and, and you could see these are, these are my tools. This, this is my arsenal. The enemy can't fade me with all this stuff. Period. It it this is difficult to penetrate. You dig? And I got more. And it's really difficult for the enemy to penetrate. So whenever I and I'm trying to get my son on that's why you see the meditation. Whenever I I have like, okay, what do I need to go? I got atomic habits on here and the physical copy. So I got two copies. So it's in uh do I record what's yeah, yes, I record these. So you can you can um you can see the playback um, on the live, on our Facebook, anytime. This is an excellent book. Anything You Want by Derek Sivers. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, he's the inventor of CD Baby, uh, which is a kind of a classic type um, uh, uh, CD business. But it was, he's he, <laughs> he's really good. So you can see this. This is just, these are all my Audible books. You guys have seen these. I talked about it last time. Um but yeah, I'm I'm th that's my floss. That's my floss period. Is books. Because you can tell by um 
She's trying to figure it out. That's... Um. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, I'll, I'll DM you, Tanisha. I'll DM you some um some recommendations. Um, the uh, just off the top is the um of uh, Stephen Covey's the uh oh, what is it the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People just off the top of my head. Yeah, and oh, I appreciate that to, um on uh, Steph too. If if your husband wants to tap in, indeed, if he on that truck, yes, indeed, I try to bring it. Um, some of our podcasts are probably really good for him to listen to as well on the actual podcast. But yeah, um, I'm all about reading about success because you can tell based on how people talk of what they're reading or if they're not right. Am I optimistic? Yeah, I'm very optimistic. I believe I can do it. And I believe you can, I believe it's going to happen all the time, right? This is not a facade. This is something that, that oozes out of me because that's what I'm sitting in and marinating in. So it's inevitable, right? If I sit and marinate in alcohol, like when you when you soak fruit in alcohol, it soaks it up. It soaks up that water. So you buy the watermelon full of vodka, you're going to be faded. Same thing, right? So I sit there and emerge myself in successful books, all the habits that I possibly can. And they'll come out at different times, right? They randomly come out at different times, ultimately when I need them. So to conclude, let's create our lives, man. We're life designers. Let's start building the life that we want one step at a time. Get a real clear vision of what you want. Stop playing around. Be clear. Down to the color, size, everything, smell. Start to smell it because these things have neurological responses, right? I used to do that in, in, in juvenile hall all the time. I used to be like, man, cut a lemon. Close your eyes, cut a lemon, and bite it. And I will show them how their their biological responses are based on visions that are in their head. And if we can have that kind of power over our own body, then we can have that kind of power over our own world. That will conclude our weekly tap in for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the subscription. Make sure you share this stuff with your friends, your family, anybody that can use this. This is universal stuff. It's not personal. Um, I don't get off on my own stuff. Donations, I'm not asking for it. God's footing the bill. I'll just continue to tap in as long as he keeps paying. God bless. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next week.